One of the things that you really need to nail when you're making a platform game of any sort is the feeling of snappy, tight controls. Controls that feel like an extension of your fingers, when you don't necessarily know how to describe your ability to jump a particular gap, but you've played a game so much that you can feel it. You can pass the game's logic with your own eyes. If you can make this game feel work, then you can start to apply pressure. You can ramp up the difficulty and the knowledge that the player has learnt from their prior mistakes. And a teacher-pupil relationship between your level design and the player's skill can start to build into more complicated scenarios. Elementum by developer 0xCode6502 is the exact marriage of these two ideas. And let me tell you, I should have been doing a lot of work this morning, but I've instead just been playing this. I've been playing this and I've been swearing a lot. The dog had to come and lie down next to me because she was getting very worried. This game is available on the BBC Micro and it's targeted as a retro game, but honestly, this could come out on any platform, including anything modern, and it would be just as relevant and just as fun and frustrating to sink your teeth into. It's a basic game, but it's one whose core mechanics never truly get old. If this was released on Steam or in the Switch eShop, I would still be getting the same amount of joy out of it. I've played modern day platform games that don't feel this good in the hands. It's truly that well done. And I'm sure you'll be able to see it from the footage on screen, though you may not be entirely sure how it feels, because that's what game feel is. It's that first person knowledge of how you command the game when it's in your sweaty palms, but Needless to say, the controls are as simple as they come. Left and right on Z and X, return to jump, and shift to turbo. You are some sort of sentient barrel. You roll through the levels, you pick up ones and zeros, and then you jump into a microchip to move on. As the levels expand, new pitfalls await you, including actual pitfalls, but also including areas of land that slow you down or kill you off instantly, or enemies to avoid. There's a ton of devious situations in which you have to use your jump and your turbo in certain succession to be able to reach pickups or platforms, and it's one that requires practice, or sometimes sheer luck, but the game gradually introduces these elements of fluid control against the machinations of its own level design. To such an expert degree, it honestly feels like an indie darling in the same vein as something like Super Meat Boy at times. I've been following the development of this game for a while, and I'd made the suggestion that, based on the difficulty and the score attack elements of the game, I felt it would be beneficial for the removal of arcade live system that often plagues games of this type, and the developer has done that, much to my own joy. The removal of lives means that the player can keep battling away without pause. Your frustration is only elevated by your own inability to do the simplest of things. You're not held back by anything else. You can keep trying, keep getting better, keep failing anyway, but ultimately, the only thing that will make you give up is yourself. Secondary playthroughs are therefore built around besting your previous score, not dying as much as last time and aiming for that time bonus. It puts me in mind of the game Love, and it'd be nice to see the developer perhaps implement a secondary game mode in a similar vein to that, in which you have a huge life pool that you can try to beat the game with, say 100 lives. It's enough to not be too bothered about a single death, but it's another way to push yourself against a tide that isn't necessarily focused just on score. Either way though, that's more of a suggestion than a complaint, and I know it's a suggestion that basically suggests the exact opposite of something I've previously suggested, but if the only thing I can really bring up about the game that I'd like to see added upon is the one thing that I suggested in the first place, then you know you're onto a winner. Seriously, get a hold of this game. There's nothing more I can say about it other than it does exactly what it sets out to do, and it does it with aplomb. And I've never said a plum in a review before, but I like the way it sounds. A plum. A plumb.